It's time to start over. Hello everybody, it's Scott here and we are playing through Spirit of the Island. It's available on iOS and Android and I'm currently playing through it by iPhone 13 Pro. Now straight off the bat, this is a premium game. So once you've bought it, you've got the whole game. No in-app ads, no in-app purchases and what a game it is. You get so much for your money because this basically is a life sim. It's a life sim on an island and there is so much to do. Think Stardew Valley, think Animal Crossing, think all of those type of life sims right in the palm of your hand right here. Basically, you've woken up on an island, you don't know how you've ended up there, you don't know what your story is, but you're just trying to survive, you're just trying to get through. And it's not just here, collect some resources and build some stuff, no, 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 no. You're getting hungry, you're getting tired, you're getting thirsty, you're getting all these different things that you are having to look after yourself, but also build, but also interact with the community. It's very difficult to show you everything, very difficult to explain everything because there is so much to do. So instead, I'm just going to play the game. I'm not going to explain much, I'm just going to play the game because Crikey, there's a lot. There's a creation menu right here. All these different things. Look at all of these different things that you can build. So much stuff. Workstations that, of course, would then be able to build more things. The farm, decoration, shops, staff to put in the shops, vehicles, essentials, pets. You can build things for your pets. And you can also build an amusement park. That I find fascinating. You could build yourself a little amusement park and the tourists will come around and they'll explore it. There's a lot. As I'm saying, there are a plethora of activities. I need to eat some food. Let's eat some food. I'm gonna eat this apple. Let's let's give a little tap. Let's interact with it. Can I can I eat the apple? How do I eat the apple? Oh, that was the action right there. Merge better now. What am I carrying a bag? Must have grabbed it somewhere. Let's take a look in that. A bottle. Yep, feeling great. Fill the bottle with water and drink it. Okay, so we need to find a source of water. But if I click on the map right there, you can see how much there is. This is just this little section. I'm just exploring this tiny little lit up section right there. But there are all these different islands and all these different people that you can interact with. So instead, let's go over here and have a look. Of course, there are things like we can jump, we can equip different tools, an axe, a hammer, a machete. We can interact with them. So like if I've got the machete right there, I can slash at the grass and pick up plant fiber and beet seeds. So then we can do some agriculture. We can use the plant fiber for upgrading and different creations. But let's go through here and see where we get. If it gets a little bit, oh, actually, maybe I can use this axe to chop through here. Yes, there we go. Let's use this axe. Of course, you can see the stamina going down, so we want to keep an eye on that, but we can use the axe and we're through. Bam. And now we're through to here and there's plenty of stuff going on. A museum, you say? Let's have a look in this museum. I'm going to put the axe away and take out the machete. Yeah, you know, you're just walking around in the machete, but this is the museum. And as we go in, you'll be able to see all of this different stuff. And when we've donated things to the museum, this is where they're going to be. So spirit ring, rubies, diamonds. Oh, we've got a lot of mining to do. We've got a lot of different things to do. And all of this stuff that we have to collect and we have to donate in order to fit. Oh my gosh, look how expansive it is. It's like the VNA. Look how much is in there. Oh, crikey, there is so much to do. So if you're a fan of slice of life games, of life sims, of these type of things, then this will be perfect for you because there is so much to do. You can look at, you can just spend the time focusing on your character, looking after your character, that's fine. You can spend so much time building and creating, that's fine. Spend so much time collecting, can I, can I, how do I interact? Oh no, do I have a inventory? Do I have a, no, I don't have a net. Oh, I don't, I couldn't catch it. Gutted, Never mind. So let's carry on, let's carry on running. Which way does this go if I look over here? Uh, if I click on you, interact, follow the road north to reach my lands, go south and you'll reach the pier. Let's head south, let's see what's at the pier. I'm gonna click on run right there so we can just go a little bit faster. That will of course drain some stamina because you know, they're not marathon runners. But let's keep on going through and let's see what we discover. So yes, as I say, fan of building things and creating things. I'm not the best at building things. I wish I were. I wish I had a design mind whenever I played The Sims, whenever I played 
Ooh, what other games? Those sort of creation games, even Animal Crossing to an extent, I'm not very good at designing things to look nice. And I wish that I was, I wish that I was, but it's a bit of a shame. But instead, follow to reach me. If you go south and still reach the pier. Wow, how, how far south do we have to go? Jiminy Cricket, okay, still so much further south. But there are some enemies going about here and it's best that we don't attack them with tools. We actually need proper weapons to survive and to dispatch of them. So I'll save my tools because the tools will degrade. You can see on the bottom, the menu, you can see that yellow bar. That is the current durability that is left of said tools. So we wanna make sure to keep an eye on them lest they break and we'll have to go and make some more. But I'm just having a little run around here because look how much there is to explore. I can't believe it. I'm actually a little bit overwhelmed with how much there is. There is so much to see and so much to do. But all these different tasks, where am I? Examine the island. Find the lighthouse, that's something I'd like to do. How do I find the lighthouse? Okay, where's the lighthouse? Let's cut through these vines. Ow, just some damage there. That's fine, but I'm turning through. I've got fat, I've got resin. Come, ouch. Here we go, here we go. I'm just, I'm just chipping away, chipping away. There we go. When you load up the game, a note from the developer is that they would recommend you using a gamepad. Any type of controller that you can connect to your phone. And I can kind of see why, because it can be a little bit cumbersome and a little bit overcrowded when you're using touchscreens. Like right now, I'm swiping in order to move, which is fine, but it does cover, like for example, now I am covering my character in order to do that. And I may be missing out on things. And also the button placement can be a little bit tricky, especially because of the notch on the iPhone 13, it actually covers up a couple of the buttons slightly. So that could be a little bit of an issue. So if you did have a gamepad, that would be a lot easier and a lot better to control. Do you know what? I've gone all the way over here. Where am I meant to be going? Crikey, I ran all the way down there and I didn't even get to where I wanted to go. All right, let's go back down. I wanna to get to the pier, I wanna see more people. And I'm just lost in this, lost in this land of my own creation. Okay, here we go. Let's head on south, and then I want to head on west. So let's go further, further, further. Here we go. Okay. Where's 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 the west? How do I head westward? I mean, my last name's westward, but how do I head westward? I am westward, but I want to head westward. Okay, here we go. There we go. Now we're heading westward. Wonderful. So the Oregon Trail. Okay, here we go. Let's carry on, carry on. Look at his little feet go, his little tippity tap of his feet. Okay, we've got some baddies. Whereabouts are we? There's the pier. We're right next to the pier. And hopefully we should arrive at a dock. Fantastic, South Pier, new location discovered. Looks abandoned. Okay, let's jump on in. I think, I haven't been told, I think all these other people running around are other players. Not that this is necessarily a MMO, but I think they may be other players, or if not, they're tourists. I'm not entirely sure. I really, I, I haven't been briefed, or if I have been briefed, then I've missed that. What does this do? I don't have a boat. So if I get a boat, then I can go to those other islands. Oh my gosh. How do you get yourself a boat? Well, I mean, I'd love to know how to get a boat. I'd love a boat. Imagine having a boat. That'd be awesome. Well, you don't have to imagine if you do have one, but oh, I'd love to have a boat. But I live in... I live in the center of England. I live in the Midlands, the furthest away from the coast. So me having a boat wouldn't be helpful at all, would it? Let's keep on running around. So I've done that. Is there a town up here? If I zoom in a little bit more, no, there isn't. So I will need a boat in order to get to, yes, I thought there was a bridge. Now I need a boat in order to cross over to the other city where all those lovely people are. So never mind. Well, I've examined a little bit of the island. I need to find the lighthouse. Is there a lighthouse appearing on here? I don't think there is. I'm not, nothing that I'm seeing looks like a lighthouse. I mean, you'd think the lighthouse would be near the dock, wouldn't you? Near the pier. Let's, let's just skirt the coast and see. This is the way that I play these type of games, doing the quests and collecting things. So I'm not, oh, I'm just kicking the beach ball. So if you wanted to see me like build stuff and look after my character, that is a very secondary thing. And I'm sorry for not showing you that because I'm just not very good at it. So I'm trying to think of other games, like for The Sims, 
I will just send them to work and feed them, but I'm not really good at like building. And so they just basically live in really rubbish apartments and just earn money and tick off quests, which is a shame because I feel there's so much more you can do and so much more that's been programmed to be done, but I'm not very good at actually doing it, which is a real shame. So sorry that I'm not showing that, but as you can see, just the sheer scope of what is available in this, there is so many different ways to play and so many different things you can do that you picking up this game, you will have a completely different experience to the one that I'm showing you right now. Oh, a treasure chest, what's in here? Some kind of key, oh, I need a key, do I? All right, well, I gotta find a key, but at least we know there's a treasure chest there. Oh my goodness, my friends, there is so much to do, so much to see, and I barely even scratched an apath of the surface. So I'm going to leave it here and say, this has been Spirit of the Island. Let me know down below. What do you think? Will you be giving this a go? Are you a fan of these life sim type of games? And what do you think of this one? There is so much to do. I can't even get my head around it. But yes, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But for now, my friends, luck and watch you all and catch you next time.